So you're thinking about moving to Michigan. In this video, we're gonna be covering the pros and cons of living in Michigan. Is Michigan the right place for you and your family? From our amazing natural resources and lakes to our impressive universities, there's a lot to love about Michigan. So is it worth moving to Michigan? Watch this video and find out. <laughs> Hey, if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Michigan and the surrounding areas, make sure to subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to learn about the current market in Michigan. My name is Paul and the team, and I get calls, texts, emails every day of the week. So whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. I am so happy to help you make that smooth move to the Michigan area. Some of the pros of living in Michigan are the Great Lakes and the natural beauty of the lakes. Michigan is known for its beautiful Great Lakes and scenic landscapes. It offers so many outdoor activities such as hiking, boating, camping that you can think of. Most famously, Michigan is known as the Great Lakes State. It's bordered by four of the five Great Lakes. These lakes include Lake Erie, the stunning Lake Huron, the lovely Lake Superior, which is really cold, and the picturesque Lake Michigan. Also, 60% of Michigan's coastline is on these lakes. The west side of the state borders Lake Michigan with some of the best sunsets and beaches, including the Sleeping Bear sand dunes. On the east side of the state, Michigan borders Lake Huron and Canada. And you can't forget Upper Michigan, which is connected to the Lower Michigan by the five mile long Mackinac Bridge. Lower Michigan residents will call the Upper Michigan residents Upers, and the Lower Michigan re residents Will, would be called trolls by the uppers. Another pro of living in Michigan is the affordable housing. The cost of living in Michigan is 3% lower than the national average. Housing is 13% lower than the national average. So a pretty good deal if you're looking for a new home. When it comes to the basic necessities such as food and clothing, groceries, they say it's around 1% higher than the rest of the country. Another pro is the seasonal changes. Michigan experiences all four seasons which can be really appealing for those who enjoy the variety in the weather and outdoor activities throughout the year. During the summertime, there's great boating, amazing sunsets, and skiing in the winter. Another pro is the strong job markets. Southeast Michigan is the major hub for industries like automotive, tech, healthcare, and education, and providing a range of job opportunities. Another pro of Michigan is the cultural and sports events. Michigan is home to various cultural events, festivals, and sports teams, which will provide you with entertainment options all through the year. If you're a sports enthusiast, Detroit is home to the major sports teams, including Lions, football, Tigers, baseball, the Pistons basketball, and if you're also a hockey fan, the Red Wings. Southeast Michigan has a rich cultural and historical heritage with attractions such as Henry Ford Museum, Greenfield Village, Detroit, the DIA, Detroit Institute of Arts, and a lot of historic neighborhoods. Another pro is the education. Michigan has several reputable state universities, including University of Michigan and Michigan State, offering quality and lower cost education opportunities if you're a resident of the state. Another great pro is most people forget about is the craft beer industry. Michigan has close to 400 breweries and it ranks sixth in the nation with breweries, microbreweries, and brew pubs. Some of the cons of living in Michigan is definitely the traffic congestion. A lot of the urban areas like Detroit and the suburbs, they'll experience constant traffic congestion around rush hour or early in the morning and constant road construction. So it's something to think about if you're gonna be moving into the area. Another kind of living in Michigan is the high auto insurance rates. Southeast Michigan is known for having high auto insurance rates compared to other states. Car insurance is expensive because it's a no fault state with high insurance coverage requirements. But the biggest reason Michigan drivers pay more for the car insurance than any other state in the country is that it's the only state with unlimited lifetime coverage for catastrophic injuries. So that makes it kind of different. Another con is, is our property tax rate. Michigan has some of the highest property tax rates in the country. The Great Lakes state's average effective property tax rate is 1.32%, well above the national average of 0.99%. So a little bit of a difference there. The next con is our state income tax. Michigan has a flat 4.25% individual income tax rate. There are also jurisdictions that collect local in income taxes, such as downtown Detroit and Pontiac, 
which could be up to 1% additional of your income if you live there and work there. So Michigan also has a 6% corporate income tax rate and a 6% sales tax rate, which is probably pretty comparable to other states in the country. Another con, which most people don't talk about, is our lake effect snow. We'll experience heavy lake effect snowfall leading to really challenging winter driving conditions. And as cold winters with snow and ice, you know, includes lots of shoveling uh, after a snowstorm or in the morning, or scraping that ice off your windshield before driving to work, which may be a downside for those who preferred mild, milder climates. Another con is our water quality. There's been a lot of concerns about the water quality in Flint, Michigan, which is in the middle of the state, you know, related to lead in the drinking water. The good news is that the Flint water t was tested during the first half of 2023, just this past year, and it was below the federal action limit for lead and lead, so slightly improved compared to the results from the last six months of 2022. So that should be good. Before deciding to live in, in Michigan, it's really important to think through the pros and cons based on your personal preferences, your career goals, and lifestyle. Your family's needs will play a significant role in determining whether Michigan is the right fit for you. Call or contact our team and we'll help you answer any questions and if this is the right place for you to go. Thank you for watching. And remember, no matter if you're moving or buying in nine or 90 days, let's connect. Subscribe to my channel to learn all about selling in Southeast Michigan or give us a call, email, or shoot us a text to answer any of your questions. See you on the next one.